Let's go before God in prayer tonight. God, we thank you. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. Riba ba 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 yanda rabo bo bo yende rebe bebe. Rebo seke riba ma 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 yanda rabo bo. Lord, we worship. We give you glory tonight, Lord Jesus. You are so faithful, so faithful, so faithful. You are. Baba <laughs> 
ma yesu Oh, oh, oh. 
nataka ni kujue nataka ni kujue nikufahamu kwangu moyo wangu watamani nataka ni kujue let worship the lord and let's give the praise Takani kujue nikufahamu bwana moyo wangu watamani nataka ni kujue nataka ni kujue nikufahamu bwana moyo wangu watamani nataka ni kujue Nataka ni kujue nikufahamu bwana moyo wangu watamani nataka ni kujue let him the lord be clap of praise give him praise rikaru bwana rabaya mkuu bwana rikara baba yanda robo sala labaka hallelujah lord god your worthy we shall go before the lord in prayer tonight tena bila zake bwana kwa maombi usiku wa leo pray for pastor emmanuel mitchell pray for god's grace upon him tugeze kuombea mchungaji wa emmanuel mitchell tuombe neema yake bwana juu let's also pray for pastor greg and lisa mitchell tuweze kuombea mchungaji greg na lisa mitchell pray that god may move and touch them bwana aweze kutembea na kumgusa pray for god's grace and wisdom upon their lives tugeze kuombea neema yake bwana hekima yake bwana juu let's pray for pastor pain as he labors in australia tugeze kuombea mchungaji pain takazi kila australia for the hand and grace of god upon him kwa mkono wa mke bwana juu yake we need to pray for our country pray for god's healing god's intervention tunafaa tuombe taifa letu tuombe uponyaji wake bwana bwana akiingilia kazi let's pray for all our churches for the hand and grace of god upon them kwa mema kanisa yetu yote kwa mkono wake bwana ikaweze kudumu miongoni mwao you're streaming tonight you have a need we want to commit that into the hands of god pale usiku wa leo umeja katika mtandao kuona ibada una leo want to join your faith with ours as we raise our voices call upon the lord let's believe him tonight he is a faithful god ningependa basi unganishe imani yako na yetu tukaweze kumitia bwana tukaweze kumwamini tunajua kwamba yeye ni mungu mwaminifu we're going to raise our voices and call upon the lord together tutaweza kuinua sauti yetu mtie bwana kwa pamoja and alaska brother felix to seal the petition let's raise our voices and call upon the lord tonight god almighty Bring the name of Jesus oh Lord God I pray Father Lord God that you may move Lord God Almighty I pray for Pastor Mitchell Father God we thank you we worship you this wonderful night we want to exalt your name we give you praise for your mighty I want to pray for Pastor Wemman and Great Mitchell in Opresco Church. I want to pray for <clears throat> Pastor Tom Payne in Australia, God. I want to pray for our country, God, that you may help us, Father Lord, even in our most needs, King of Glory. I want to welcome you, Father Lord, even in our midst tonight, Father Lord, as we pray that you may minister to hearts and lives. I want to thank you. I want to exalt you. I want to give you praise for there is none like you, Father Lord. Thank you mighty thank you Lord be exalted we want to pray father Lord that you may help us father Lord speak unto our lives speak unto our hearts tonight father Lord as we wait and to hear from your word oh king of glory we want to thank you we pray that your spirit may guide us may lead us tonight father Lord even in our ways we pray this believing and trusting in the name of Jesus amen amen hallelujah let's give the lord a big hand clap hallelujah
Amen. God is a good God tonight. And uh, I believe he's going to minister to our hearts and lives. Just to remind us of the announcements, we have our prayers every morning from 6 to 8. Let's come, pray, believe God to move and help us. Then uh, remember our Sunday services will be streamed at 10 30 in the morning and at 5 in the evening. Please uh, take time with your family, stream into these services. Uh, let God minister to you and your family in your home. Okay, these are not things we are doing for the sake of doing. These are regular services. It would only be good for you to take them seriously, streaming, let God minister to you in your home. Let us keep praying, let's keep believing God. Let's keep praying for the church. Let's keep praying for one another. For God's sustenance. That's all for the announcements. Want to honor God with our resources. Jesus demonstrated the power of multiplication. Now remember he said Give and it will be given back to you. Good measure, well shaken, pressed down, running over. Shall men give to your bosom? And Jesus demonstrated these when he did the miracle of the loaves and fish. He's given this small lunch and because someone gave, Jesus caused a multiplication. And I can tell you, beloved, when we honor God, when we give, it is not in vain. Yes, on one part, it is worship. It is an honor to God. It's an obedience of God's commandment. But there is a promise tied to our giving. God says he will open the windows of heaven, pour out blessings upon us that we may not have enough room to receive. The God we serve is a blesser. He has your good intentions in his heart. We do ourselves good when we honor God because God responds to that. We have a good opportunity tonight to honor God with our tithes and give our offerings. Let us believe God together. Let's honor him. Please use the pay bill number right on the screen to pay your tithes and give your offerings. And let's believe God together. As we burn our heads, Brother Dan, raise your voice, pray for the offering. Watch and be sadaka. Baba, sema ni asanti mfalme kwa fursi ya jabu kuja mbele zako bwana kwa ibada hii ya kati ya Juma. Tunapoenda kutoa mfalme tunaamini ya kuomba utaka kusababisha nyongeza katika maisha yetu bwana. Tubariki tunapoenda kutoa katika shughuli zetu za maisha, biashara hata na kazi zetu mfalme. Jina lako labariki alipewe sifa na kwa Kristo patakuamini. Amen. Amen. God bless you as you give tonight. Mungu abariki kwa usiku wa leo.
Amen. Thank God uh, for that wonderful ministry. Tunashukuru Bwana kuhudumu wa ajabu. The book of First Peter and chapter 2 if you have your Bible. Kitabu cha Petero wa kwanza mlango wa pili kama unayo Biblia yako. First Peter and chapter 2. Petero wa kwanza mlango wa pili. The world has a way of making us feel inferior and oppressed. Ulimwengu unaoanjia kutufanya kuwa wanyonge pia wenye tunaweza kufinyika. It makes us feel small, worthless and useless. Na tufanya kuishi wadogo wa mbali hata hatuwezi kustahili. And if we are not careful, kama tuko wangalifu, this attitude can change our entire lives. Nia nia ya moyo kama hii inaweza kubadilisha maisha yetu yote. And cause us to start believing what the world says about us. Na kutufanya kwanza kuamini kile ulimwengu unasema kutuhusu sisi. This becomes like a mark upon our lives. Hii inaweza kusalia kuwa alama juu ya maisha yetu. That we carry wherever we go. Ambao tunaembewa mahali pote tunapokwenda. It becomes a mark that always sticks behind our minds inakuwa alama ambayo inasalia nyuma ya nia zetu and always comes out every once in a while na pia basi inaweza kuchomoka mara moja moja maishani but you see when we get saved tunapookoka we don't have to carry the marks of the world upon us anymore. Atufai kunyelea kubeba zile alama za ulimwengu tena. We are redeemed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Tumeeza kumbolewa wa kwa damu ya Yesu Christ. We become different because of the work of Calvary. Tunaeza kuwa tofauti kwa sababu ya kazi ya Calvary. And tonight I want to talk about being overcomers. Leo hii usiku na kuzumzia kuhusu kuwa washindi. First Peter Peter chapter 2 Petero wa kwanza mlango wa pili verse 9 and 10 the bible says you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light who once were not a people but are now the people of god who had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy. Father, we come before you, God, by the blood of Jesus. Lord, I want to commit this word into your hands, I pray, that you may use it, God, to minister to us, to speak almighty, God, to our hearts and lives. I pray for a liberty of your Holy Spirit. God, I pray for your divine presence. May this word, oh God, have a place in our lives and hearts to your glory. In the name of Jesus, and all God's people said, Amen. Being overcomers. Kuwa washindi. First I want to talk about our view of self. Kwanza kuzumzia kuhusu mtazamo wetu wetu mwenyewe. We all have our own opinions about ourselves. Sisi tumeweza kujenga mawazo kutuhusu sisi wenyewe. If you were to interview different people, kama ungeweza kuwahoji watu tofauti, they would give you different opinions that they have about themselves. Wangeweza kupa mawazo tofauti sana kuhusu wao wenyewe. And I can tell you none of them would give you a bad opinion about themselves. But there are times that you don't need to interview people. Because many people reveal more about themselves when they are talking. The Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And I can tell you that our mouths speak what we really are. They reveal us that they unmask us. Inaeza kudufunua, inaeza kutuonyesha. They speak about our fears. Inazungumza kuhusu wafu zetu. Our anger. Asira zetu. Our bitterness. Abachungu yetu. Our desperations. Halietu ya itaji. Our motivations. Halietu ya kwe kuchochewa. And our ambitions. Hata matawaniyo yetu. Many times we view ourselves. Mara mingi tunaeza kujitazamia. As a people who are not worthy. Kama watu wamba wa stahili. As a people 
people who cannot achieve anything. And so long as we carry this mentality, we will never attain anything in life. We are what we think of ourselves. In fact, the Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. This is why so many people don't have goals. They don't have goals. Have, they don't have dreams, aspirations, or any ambitions. Because they look at their lives and they say, I cannot do this. I am not able. I don't think I can ever make it. I cannot do or attempt this. This is too hard for me. This is impossible for me. And they are never able to rise up and to attain. There are those whom the world has marked because of things that have happened in their lives. Some have been put down by friends and they never rise about that. There are others who have been put down by their parents and that haunts them and it hinders them from rising. There are others that have been put down by their teachers and they carry these in their lives and it becomes what will determine what they will ever be in life there are those who suffer from inferiority complex they feel inferior and unworthy compared to others. I look back at my life growing up because of the environment I was brought up in. I always looked at myself as someone who could never attain anything. And I was always timid. I felt unworthy. I always felt intimidated by people. I could never see myself either doing anything or achieving anything. And this is something I had to contend with and believe God to change my life. I want to secondly talk about how God views us. Because I can submit to you tonight that the view and opinion that God has about us is very different. When God looks at us, he sees us differently. When God looks at us, he thinks about us differently. He does not see us as a people who are inferior. He does not see us as failures. He does not see us as worthless people. When God looks at us, He sees potential. He sees ability. He sees success. He sees men and women that he can raise up for his glory and purpose. The Bible says in Jeremiah 29 11 For I know the thoughts that I think toward you says the Lord. 
mawazo yanaweza kuwazia sema Bwana. Thoughts of peace and not of evil. Mawazo ya amani si ya uovu. To give you a future and a hope. Uweza kupa siku za usoni pia kupa tumaini. This is what God thinks about you and I. Hii ni mawazo ya Mungu anakuwazia wewe na mimi. He has thoughts of peace. Ana ya mawazo ya amani. Thoughts of good plans. Mawazo ya mipango mizuri. And an end that is fulfilling. Na hata ile hatima umeweza kutimilika. Think about Gideon tonight. Wazia Gideon usiku wa leo. Gideon was living in the time when the children of Israel were under midnight oppression. Alikuwa anaishi na nyakati ambao na Israeli walikuwa na teso na jamii wa wa Meliki. Midianites. Wa Biniani kunradi. Wa Midiani. These people would come and plunder the land. Hawatogeza kuja na kushambulia nchi yao. Every time the harvest was ready the Bible says they would come in plenty and totally plunder the land. Bila sema kwamba wakati ule mazao yalikuwa tayari waongeza kuja na kuyarimu na kuyavuna mashamba kabisa. Life was difficult for God's people. Maisha yalikuwa magumu kwa watu wake Mungu. And the Bible says Gideon was threshing flour in a, in a wine press hiding. Bila sema kwamba Gideon alikuwa anasagasaga maua mahali ambapo anaweza kujificha. And the angel of the Lord appears to him and says. Malaika yake bwana akaweza kumuonekania na akaweza Kusema. In Judges 6:12 to 13 the Lord is with you. Waamuzi 6:12 kumbelea sema kwamba Bwana ako nawe. You mighty man of valor. Wewe shujaa wa vita. Gideon said to him. Yonekeza kumwambia. Oh my Lord. Eh hey, Bwana wangu. If the Lord is with us. Ikiwa Bwana ako nasi. Why then has all this happened to us? Kwa nini basi ameweza kutushindikia? And where are all his miracles which our fathers told us about saying na mujizo yake yote ikuwa babeta aliweza kutuambia did not the lord bring us up from egypt ikiwa bwana tutoka katika nchi ya misri but now the lord has forsaken us si bwana ameweza kutuacha and delivered us into the hands of the midianites na kutukomboa katika mikono ya wamidiani now this is interesting hii ni kuweza kufurahisha gideon is hiding gideon anajificha because of fear kwa sababu ya hofu and obviously he does not feel within himself any strength to fight the midianites na kawaida basi ndani mwaka jaisi nguvu zote za kuweza kupigana watu wa midian otherwise he would not be hiding basi angeweza kujificha but then god looks at him mungu anaweza kumwangalia he sees something different ona kitu tofauti he sees a warrior anaona shujaa he sees a man of war anaona mtu wa vita he sees somebody that can overcome za kushinda he sees a deliverer of his people in gideon anaona mkombozi watu wake kupitia gideon gideon maybe was looking at himself and saying i cannot do this ndio kwa jengana anasema kwamba mimi siwezi kuyafanya haya he's hiding anajificha but god sees him differently Mungu anamuona tofauti God sees him as a man he was going to use to deliver his people Mungu anamuona kama mtu ambaye angeweza kutumia kwenda kwa kuomboa wana wake We can talk about Moses tonight Tunaweza kuhusu Musa usiku Moses ran away from Egypt Musa alitoroka Misri in fear of Pharaoh Akiweza kumogopa Pharaoh because he had killed an Egyptian Kwa maana alikuwa amemuua Misri He's been in the wilderness of Midian for 40 years in high amekuwa kule nyikani katika nyika ya Midiani kwa miaka 40 and god appears to him in a burning bush bwana akaanza kumuonekania katika kichaka kinateketea and he tells him moses i want to send you to go to egypt and deliver my people akamwambia musa ningependa kutuma katika nchi ya misri kwenda kuokomboa watu wangu moses cannot understand this musa hawezi kuelewa haya he sees himself as a stammerer anaweza kuona mwenyewe kama kigugumizi who cannot even speak to pharaoh ambaye hata hezi kumzungumzia pharaoh he tells god you know i am slow of tongue i cannot be able to do this anambia mungu wajua kwamba mimi ulimu wangu ni mzito na siwezi kufanya mambo hayo unayambie moses view of himself musa aliweza kujiwazia mwenye kujitegemea mwenye moses samara who could not even be eloquent who could not speak who could not face pharaoh kama kigugumizi ambaye hata angeweza kuzungumza vyema angeweza kunena ama kukabiliana na pharaoh But God sees in him 
a leader and a deliverer of his people. Our text in verse 9. Peter says, You are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, his own special people. That you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. That is a powerful scripture. This is a scripture that ought to motivate you tonight. When we get saved, we become God's chosen or elected people. We become a royal priesthood. This means we bear the mark of kings. And the sanctity of priests. We become a valued people to God. We become a people that are set apart for the purposes and the will of God. Revelation 1 verse 5 and 6 The Bible says To him who loved us And washed us from our sins In his own blood And has made us kings and priests To his God and Father To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. What the Bible says that Jesus Christ has made us kings and priests to his God and Father. Isaiah 61 and verse 6 But you shall be named the priests of the Lord the priests of the Lord they shall call you the servants of our God you shall eat the riches of the Gentiles and in their glory you shall boss again here the Bible says you shall be named the priests of the Lord they shall call you the servants of our God and you shall eat the riches of the Gentiles Exodus 19 6 and you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation these are the words which you shall speak to the children of Israel right here God gives a promise to his people and he says you shall be to me a kingdom of priests and a holy nation that is what God sees in you. Our text says we are a peculiar people. This is a powerful term. This word peculiar means we are distinguished from others. We are different. We are not like everyone else. We are distinct. We are special. God says you are my peculiar people. It is like he has put a mark on us that we are different. And anyone that sees us sees the mark of God on us. We are distinct people. We've been bought and redeemed by the blood of Jesus. See, the Greek meaning of this word is that we are a people for a possession. We belong to God. We have become 
co-heirs with Jesus Christ in the kingdom of God. Tumeza kuwarithi wa pamoja na Yesu Kristo katika ufalme wake Mungu. That is what God sees in us. Hivyo Mungu anaweza kuona ni mwetu. In Exodus 19 and verse 5. Kutoka 19 mstari wa 5. The Bible says, Iliasema, "Now therefore, hivyo, if you will indeed obey my voice and keep my covenant." Kwa hika basi mtaweza kutisa uti yangu na pia kuogopa amri zangu. Then you shall be a special treasure to me above all people. Mtaweza kuwa basi hazina maalum zaidi ya watu wote. For all the earth is mine. Kwa maana ulimwengu mzima ni wangu. This is God speaking. Huyu ni Mungu anaweza kunena. If, we, if you will obey my commandment. Asema kama kama mtaweza kutii amri zake. And keep my covenant. Na pia kuweza kuheshimu eh agano langu. Then you shall be a special treasure to me. Mtaweza kuwa zina maalum kwa mimi. Above all people. Zaidi ya kila mtu. This is God's view. Rovaza. Huyu ni mtazamo wake Mungu juu yetu. We are his own special people. Sisi ni watu wake maalum. He says you will be a special treasure to me. Anasema kama mtakuwa zina maalum kwangu mimi. That is his view of you and I. Huyu mtazamo wake kwa yeye na mimi. We are precious to God. Sisi ni wadhamana wake Mungu. In the eyes of God we are kings and we are priests. Machoni pake Mungu sisi ni makuhani pia sisi ni wana wa kifalme. And this needs to be our a view of ourselves. Hii basi nafikiri kustalia kuwa mtazamo wetu wenyewe. See the problem is that the devil likes to make us a feel inferior. Shule kwa mba shetani zafanya kutufanya kuhisi kwamba tumeweza kudunika. He likes to feel worthless. Anaka tufanya tukahisi kwamba sisi hatustahili. But I want to tell you tonight. Nipenda kuambia usiku. That we are supposed to be what God says we are. Inafaa tukue kile Mungu ameweza kusema sisi tulivyo. There is an old song. Na wimbo wa zamani. And it says whose report will you believe? Anasema kwamba na kala yanayotaweza kuamini. We shall believe the report of the Lord. Taweza kuamini na kala yake Mungu. His report says I am free. Na kala yake anasema kwamba niko huru. His report says I am healed. Na kala yake anasema kwamba nimeweza kupona. His report says victory. Na kala yake anasema kwamba ushindi. That is what we need to believe. Hiyo ndio faa tukaweze kuamini. God sees us as victors. Mungu anatuona kama washindi. God sees us as overcomers. Mungu anatuona kama watu ambao tumeweza kushinda. God sees us as a people that are esteemed. Mungu anatuona kama watu ambao tumeweza kushika hadhi ya juu. He sees us as a peculiar people. Anatuona kama watu maalum. The problem is that many don't believe that report kila ni kwamba watu wengi wanaweza kuamini katika nakala hii that is why they live in defeat ndio wanaishi katika hali ya kushindwa that is why they live in oppression and torment ndio wanaishi katika hali ya mateso na pia hali ya kwenda kufujika but you need to understand lazima ukaese kuelewa that the bible says we are different bila nasema kwamba sisi ni tofauti we are god's treasure sisi ni azina yake mungu we are god's special people sisi watu wake mungu haswa we been ordained for the purposes and for the will and the plan of God. Let me finally talk about being overcomers. After having gotten an understanding of who we are before God. We now need to know our duty before him. Because listen to me tonight. God redeems us with a plan and a purpose. He does not just redeem us for the sake of redemption. Verse 9 of our text says we are to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. This means that we are now redeemed. And we need to show forth good quality and excellence. In everything that we do. Because why we belong to God. This 
talks about the excellences of God. Zungumzia kuhusu ubora wake Mungu. He talks about his goodness. Zungumzia kuhusu wema wake. And all things that make it pros- proper to praise him. Yote basi naweza kuonyesha ni bora kuweza kumsifu. That we need to have a proper way of praising God. Ni maanisha kwamba lazima tuko na njia kamilifu ya kuweza kumsifu Mwenyezi Mungu. In our personal lives. Katika maisha ya binafsi. In our family. Katika familia zetu. In our church. Katika makanisa yetu. In public praises, places. Mahali pahala pahadara. Everywhere we go. Mali pote tuenda hapo. The Bible says. Bila nasema. We need to show forth the praises of him who has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light we are to perform our priestly duties lazima tukatekeleze jukumu letu la kikuhani of ministering to people witnessing and preaching uweza kushuhudia na kuhubiri and ministering to the needs of people na pia kuweza kuhudumia mahitaji ya watu means that you and I tonight are to be overcomers lazima tukaze kuwa washindi god's people are not losers watu wake mungu si watu kupoteza peculiar hawa watu maalum they are distinct hawa watu wako tofauti they are overcomers hawa ni washindi as god's people we need to strive to excel in all that we do because and that means uh, that we are to shun away all unrighteousness from our lives we are to shine the light of god we need to keep away from all appearance of evil and righteousness needs to be our goal as god's people kama watu wake mungu verse 10 of our text tarwa 10 andiko letu the bible says niliyasema who once were not a people wala mboko mara hapo kabla hawakuwa watu but are now the people of god yes hivi ni watu wake mungu who had not obtained mercy ambao wako wameza kupata kibali rehema but have now obtained mercy lakini wameza kupokea rehema that means there is an identity maisha kwamba kuna utambulisho that has come upon you and i ambao uko juu yako na yangu as god's people kama watu wake mungu the bible says iliyasema at one time we were not a people kwa fulani hatukuwa watu but are now the people of god yes i even watu wake mungu who had not obtained mercy wala ambao wako mpokea rehema but now have obtained mercy yes i wapokea rehema This refers to us as gentiles. Hii basi naweza kuchukua sisi kabla watu wa At one time we were out of the commonwealth of God. Fulani basi tulikuwa nje ya uwemo wake wa Mungu. We were alienated from God's kingdom. Tulikuwa basi tumeweza kutenga na ufalme wake Mungu. We had no blessings. We were outcast in the kingdom of God. Tulikuwa na baraka yote tulikuwa watu wa nje katika ufalme wake Mungu. But the Bible says because of the blood of Jesus. Bila sema 
We have been reconciled to God. We have been made near to God. To all those who received him. To all those who believed in him. He gave them the right to become the children of God. The power of the blood of Jesus causes us to be different. It gives us a right into the kingdom of God. We become sons and daughters in God's kingdom because of the blood of Jesus. And because of that, we are now overcomers. We are a people with the heritage. We have become a people with an inheritance. We have become a people that are distinct for God. We have now become a covenant people. God's favor and blessing is now our portion. We have now now become the children of God. The Bible says in Romans 8 verse 16 and 17 the spirit bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children then heirs Hairs of God and joint hairs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with Him, that we may also be glorified together. What a wonderful encouragement. The fact that we have become children of God's kingdom. The Bible says we've now become heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus Christ. That means that God has made all the resources of heaven to be available to us that we may enjoy an abundance of life. That means we need to live our lives as overcomers and not losers. The Bible says we are more than conquerors through Christ Jesus our Lord. I think about my life. If it were not for Jesus, I don't know where or what I would be today. But I do know it would not be good. And I thank God always for Jesus Christ. Because he's made me an overcomer in God's kingdom. You too can become an overcomer. That means that the devil does not have to oppress you, intimidate you, and torment you, and cause you to be a loser. You need to rise up in confidence as a son or daughter of the kingdom. And take your position. Take your place. Rise up. Be who God sees you to be. Because, because in the God we serve, we are overcomers because of what Jesus Christ did for us at the cross of Calvary. And our text tells us, but you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood. A holy nation. His own special people. 
that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his motherless light who, who once were not a people but are now the people of God who had not obtained mercy but now have obtained mercy. That is who you and I are. In the kingdom of God. We are not losers. We are overcomers. And the next time the devil comes to oppress you, you need to quote these words to him. You need to tell him, listen devil, you cannot play around with me. I am a chosen generation. I am a royal priesthood. I am God's a special person. And you cannot play around with me. That will give you victory. We are overcomers in the kingdom of God. I want us to pray together. Wherever you are this moment, I request you to bow down your head and close your eyes. We are before the presence of God. Being overcomers, I want to submit to you that everything I've been talking about will have no meaning, will not make any sense if you don't have a relationship with Jesus Christ. The Bible says to all those who received him, to all those who believed in him, he gave them the right to become the children of God. You know what that means? If you've never believed in Jesus, if you've never received Jesus in your heart, you have no right in God's kingdom. You are an outcast and the wrath of God is upon your life. But it doesn't have to be that way. God has made a way for us. Jesus Christ died at the cross of Calvary. He shed his precious blood that your sins and my sins could be forgiven. And Jesus tonight can give you the right to become a child of God. If only you can can make a decision to receive him and to believe in him. And I wonder as every head is bowed and every eye is closed, wherever you are this moment, you're saying, you know what, Pastor? I want to receive that right. I want to receive Jesus. I want to believe in him. Pastor, pray with me that Jesus may come into my heart. We will be more than happy to do that. If only you can respond by raising up your hand wherever you are. You're saying, that's me. I need Jesus. Or you're saying I'm backslidden. I want to come back to Jesus. Raise up your hand wherever you are this moment. We are going to pray with you. And with your hand raised, I want to lead you in a prayer that Jesus may come into your heart. The Bible says, whoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's what we want to do with you. I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, Tonight, I make a decision to receive you, to believe you, and to accept you into my heart and my life. I ask you, Jesus, to forgive me of all my sins. Wash me with your precious blood. And let me be a new pastor. Thank you, Jesus, for forgiving me and for setting me free. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Right now, God, I bless precious souls, Almighty. God, I pray, Father, that you may touch them. I break every chain, every bondage, every oppression. I rob the devil against them. Lord, I render powerless, I cast out in the name of Jesus. And I want to pray that God, you may keep them, uh, you may sustain them, uh, let your name be glorified in and through their lives. Raise them up, oh God, uh, to glorify you and to live for you in Jesus' name. Uh, amen. If you prayed that prayer, 
urudia ombi hilo i want to request you to get in touch with us ningependa kuuliza ukaweza kuwa on the screen pale katika screen yetu is our phone number our Anamba, email address kwa nambari ya simu anaona barua pepe you can get in touch with us with any of that uweze kutupigia we'll be happy to get to sisi. know you we'll be happy to pray for you tukwa furaha kujua pia kuomba na wewe we'll be happy to help you to Tuku. leave for god tukwa furaha pia kusaidia kuhimishia mungu so please get in touch with us tafadhali eh, tuwasiliane na sisi talking to god's people nikizungumza tu wake Mwenyezi Mungu being overcomers kwa washindi The Bible tells us. We are more than conquerors. Tuko zaidi ya washindi. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Kupitia Kristo bwana wetu. Maybe you're here tonight. Uh, you know, you've been streaming. Uh, you're struggling with rejection in your life. Mnyenye katika leo kataliwa maishani. That's what the world sees in you. Ruli umeweza kuona ndani mwako. God you are not a reject. Ndani yake Mungu hujakataliwa. In God you're loved. Mungu ndani yake Mungu unapendwa. In God you are accepted. Ndani yake Mungu unaweza kulika. You are the beloved of God. Wewe ndio ule mpendo wake Mungu. You need to rise above that rejection. Na fanyuke zaidi ya kukataliwa huko. There are people struggling with failure. You look at your life and you say I don't think I can attain I'm a failure. That's what you think. That's what the world thinks about you. God sees you differently. He sees you as a king. As somebody that can rise up. Maybe you're here tonight. You are tormented you are oppressed in your mind. You need to take authority over that work of the devil. God can deliver you. And he wants to deliver you. You need to reach out to him. Take authority and dominion. Over that oppression and torment. Let God touch you. See this is a challenge. To many people tonight. You need to change your view of yourself. Start looking at yourself the way God sees you. Anza kujangalia jinsi Mungu anaanza kuwa from God's perspective. Jiangalie katika mtazamo wake Mungu. That is going to bring a change in your life. Utabloka katika maisha yako. That is going to bring a change on how you deal with things. Ndiso shughulika na mambo katika maisha katika njia utofauti. Because in the God we serve. Wale Mungu ambao tunataka kutumikia. We are overcomers. Sisi ni washindi. This is a challenge to us. To call on God to claim for the fullness and the abundance of life upon us. And I believe God has spoken to you tonight. God has challenged you. We have a good opportunity right now just to go before him. Reach out to him, call upon him. Let God touch you. Let God move upon you. Not take authority and dominion over the, the devil let God touch you tonight let him move upon you as we sing this chorus raise your voice and let God touch you let him minister to you hallelujah hallelujah at the cross at the cross where i first saw the light at the parents of my heart roll away
Almighty Father, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, indeed, we want to thank you tonight for the blood of Jesus Christ. It's because of that blood that we are saved. It's because of that blood that we have become your children. It is because of that blood that now we are a peculiar people and overcomers in your kingdom. Lord, I pray, Father, that you may cause even this confidence to be in our hearts and lives. Wherever we are, in whatever we do, God, let us always know that we are your chosen people. That you have a good plan and purpose for us, and that in you, O oh God, we are overcomers. Let these remain in us, O oh God, and let us be the men and women that you've called us and that you want us to be. God, I pray that you be with us even tonight. Move upon your people, God. Meet us in our needs. Touch them that are sick. Lord, I pray. Almighty God, that you may cause your healing. River upon their lives, Almighty Father. God, I pray tonight that your peace may be our portion. Keep us and protect us. And Lord, give us rest and peace even this night. I plead the blood of Jesus. River upon us. That no work of the devil shall prevail. River against us. God, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name. Great, oh Lord God, is your faithfulness. We give you the glory and honor. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray and believe. And all God's people say it. Amen and amen indeed. God bless you. Mungu wa I want to appreciate you for streaming in tonight. Na ashuru yake katika mtandao siku leo kwa ibada zetu. Kwa siku leo barikiwa. Amen. Mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba. Mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba. Mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye mwamba 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 Yesu ndiye 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 
ye mumba